The following is a quick overview of the steps to install the SmartCut Quote software and set up some basic settings to get started. Simply follow the prompts. Once you click on the Settings button, right-click on the Machine tab and enter the name of the machine, the rapid speed, and the machine hourly rate. Once the machine is added, we can enter new materials, type, grade, density in kilograms per cubic meter. The material density can be obtained from the sheet supplier. This information is important for calculating precise material costs. Once the feed rate for cutting the particular thickness and the piercing time is added, we can now add standard sheet sizes and pricing. To keep the pricing accurate, it is important to include each sheet's price and to make sure the price is updated regularly. Do not forget to add all the standard sizes as required, the sheet thickness, different grades of material, and new materials as needed. Here are some of the other tabs that you would need to set up. Client databases contain information about your customers, including company name, contact person, billing, and delivery address. These information are used to create new quotations. On the miscellaneous tab, you will find tax rate, nesting default settings, and default various operation costs, and you can also select the default location where quotes should be saved. The My Company tab contains information about your company, contact details, your company logo, any notes you wish to include with the quotes and your local currency. Let's create our first quote. Click on the New button. Select the company from the pull-down box. The quote number and contact information are generated by default. Then click Next. Add DXF files. You can select multiple files with the Shift key. If there are any problems with the DXF files, they will be highlighted in red. Then, click on Part Lists. Here you can edit the quantity of each part, the materials and thickness. In addition to editing each part individually, you can also select multiple parts at once. You can also add operations to each part, such as bending, deburring, etc. By clicking on the nesting button, you can estimate the number of sheets required. You can also adjust the grain direction of each part and re-nest for better efficiency. On the Summary tab, you can add any additional costs and review the information and generate the quotation.